This is Trudy Adams on Miss Melody, and today we're working on Trudy wanted to be able to have more of a feeling of a rainbow as she's riding, which simply means that the horse is accepting the connection of the rain from the rider's leg, and this is new from Melody. For those who have been following Melody's history, she has a long history. Uh, when I first met her, she was very anxious and and uh, tense and all that other kind of good stuff. So it's actually taken us four years to get her to this point where she is finally listening and relaxing to us, which is the case of horses that have had training that leaves them in that kind of a space. Good. Yep, keep her focused on you even more. And when I say focused, what Trudy's doing is she's playing with the reins lightly, using her inside rein and leg at the same time over the outside, thinking a little leg yield every now and then. Just making sure that she can keep her balance between her rein and legs first from front to back, where uh, uh, Melody is stepping up into the rein connection from her leg, and then from side to side, and that's where we add the feeling of the leg yield to get Melody against the outside rein and leg. That's it. Have her stretch more on the outside rein now. So now you're going to start asking for more of a mini stretch on the outside. Yep. Keep asking for a mini stretch. That way you know she's focused on you. Good, Trudy. Praise her. That's it. Now you're going to keep thinking of that mini stretch on the outside in whatever exercise you're doing. So you can do serpentines into circles. That's right, and you're going to keep playing with, can you keep her connected? Very nice. Look at the stretch you're getting on the outside rein. And this level of connection is new to Melody. Only this last, since this spring of 2015, was when she first started really starting to respond to the aids and connect without all her anxious, uh, hot, complicated, nervous horse type of thing. Very nice. Take your time. Take your time. Remember, you've got to use your leg first to get her back end active and to get her to step up and then you can play with your rein a little. So it took us uh, probably a good at least two years, maybe three years before we could get Melody to canter on the correct lead on both the front and the back and she's still working on those issues. She was very frantic at first. In fact, she was very pacey in all of her gaze. We're just happy to see her in a relaxed state of mind now because this is where the training can really begin. She trusts what's happening in the process now. Good, good. Yep, get her to stretch on the outside rein. Yeah, a little bit. That's all right. So imagine you're on that lunge line and play with a spiral. If she's locked up, you could be holding the rein a second too long. That's right, supple her more on the outside rein. That's where she's doing the steps to connection. First melody should be soft at her jaw when Trudy touches her mouth with the rein. As a result, she'll get soft in the jaw, which will loosen her neck, give her a rainbow. She'll lift her back, and she can then step up into the rein as a result of Trudy asking her to step up into the rein connection. Good. Take your time. Think of adding a spiral now so you can do three circles. Remember, the smaller the circle, the shorter your outside rein. Just imagine me being in the center with a lunge line. Shorten your outside rein, bring her shoulder in more than you think until she picks up your outside seat bone. We're using the feeling of the outside seat bone so that Trudy can get the feeling of if, if Melody is really underneath of her. Most horses will throw their haunches in and the rider won't feel them lifting up the outside seat bone. So it's just a part of the process right now. Correctly on a circle, the horse should be lifting the inside seat bone. But for some reason, having a rider feel if the horse is under their outside seat bone gives the rider more control of what they're doing with their inside leg with the horse's hind end. Good! How's that feeling?